Upon completing the theory, students studying aeronautical engineering in many countries across the Caribbean are often restricted from conducting certain practical exercises on actual live aircraft. However, those from the Art Williams and Harry Wendt Aeronautical Engineering School located at Ogle have a major advantage. But the advantage of having aircraft like these is you have a better in-depth practical training. Even though for the license you need on-the-job training, this supplements the practical part, which is the lab part, because like I said, on live planes, you're restricted to get into the systems, really. The school's executive manager, Mrs. Nalini Chandaran, told reporters during a tour of the school that the aircraft were donations, and even though they were not in workable conditions, the students were able to mend them. The 4 to one was loaned to us by the Guyana Defense Force uh, for a period of two years to do training. It was in an unserviceable condition, it could not fly, so we had to disassemble it, bring it, reassemble it, all of that is part of the training process. Raymond Persaud, the school's theoretical manager, explained that after much work, the third-year students were able to bring the aircraft to an operational state. However, these would be unable to fly legally, since they have been restricted by international standards and regulations. The efficiency of the educators and the capability of the students themselves have given the school much to boast about. This school is um, approved by the regional aviation body, which is CASAS, Caribbean Av Aviation Safety and Security Oversight System. We got direct approvals from Trinidad and Tobago CAA, Civil Aviation Authority, Suriname, as well as Jamaica. But um, our one of the things that we're proud of is that we were able to have ISO 9001 and we have retained it since 2006. Courses offered at the school, which currently has 142 students, is believed to be internationally recognized. So we're giving not just training for license, but quality training so students can get their jobs wherever they are. It is also a stepping stone to flying much bigger aircraft. We do basic training to get your basic license. There are steps towards being highly qualified for the larger planes, which are the airplanes too. So in doing basic training and you need hours for those license, you need to accumulate hours for the larger plane license. This gives them an advantage also to get that kind of in-depth practical knowledge. So when you're going for those airplanes to license, the larger plane license, they would have, have enough practical knowledge. Additionally, the students are also involved in the maintenance of fully functional aircraft at the Ogle International Airport. Although there are qualified engineers there, the students are believed to be very capable of executing the job. But of course, George, they are under the supervision of their instructors.